please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is MULN. This finishes at $2.44 today. That is up 39.43%. So we've been talking about this stock for three weeks now, ever since the squeeze the first time. And today this was number one on stock twits by far, had 22,000 mentions. Major price action, looks like it's still squeezing. So once again, we're going to analyze it. So we did have some minor news here. So let's check that out first. All right, so apparently the company was featured on Yahoo Finance Live. So that doesn't appear to be any major news, but it probably had something to do with, probably gave it a little bit of a boost. But other than that, it just seems like very strong social media sentiment. Ape still jumping in here and squeezing the stock up. Ape still like the stock. We like the stock. All right, let's go ahead and analyze here. So it had some major volume today. Every time it looks like the momentum is going to cool off, the apes just run it back up. So it looks like it's still squeezing. So we do have a double gap down. First gap down is back at 1190. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 1190 at some point to fill that gap. May take a while, but eventually it should. And then we have another gap down at 465. So that's another bullish indicator that is suggesting that this stock will come back up to 465 eventually to fill that gap again may take a while but eventually it should and then we have this huge cup and handle in the making bottom of the cup being the low of 52 cents and there can be multiple possible tops it can be 380 585 740 9 dollars 1085 1165 or even the high of 1590 although i do think the most realistic top would be 360 but those are all bullish indicators that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. And yesterday, I did say that this looked like a symmetrical triangle forming, and it looked like it was due for a breakout soon after a little more consolidation. It didn't really consolidate, but this did break out of the symmetrical triangle yesterday. So now for the bearish stuff. So this is a triple gap up, first gap up at 62 cents. That's a bearish indicator. That is telling us that the stock may pull back down to 62 cents to fill that gap. Looks pretty unlikely at this point, but possible so keep that in mind guys and then we do have another gap up at 150 so another bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock may pull back down to 150 and then we have another gap up today at around 180 so another bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock should pull back down to 180 to fill this gap i think that one is pretty realistic and in the aftermarket here this is pulling back down to 233 so that is a bearish indicator that is suggesting that tomorrow this will probably sell off and this is more of a theory not really proven but Options expire tomorrow, March 18th. There's the 250 strike, and I would not be surprised if the market makers don't want to pay it out, and they decide to short this down so they don't have to pay out those 250 contracts. Again, can't prove it, but that seems to be the case a lot of the times when it comes to expiring contracts. There's always some shady stuff going on, so keep that in mind, guys. All right, and if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 257, and... 223 so if this goes to the upside next levels of resistance would be 257 272 291 322 341 360 379 398 409 424 439 458 496 and then 523 there is resistance above 523 but we're not going to discuss that right now and if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 223, 189, 170, 136, 113, 98 cents, 75 cents, 60 cents, and then the low of 52 cents. 52 cents is the all-time low, so no support below that. So right now at this current price, 244, the channels to the downside are pretty wide. So expect significant price action if this runs to the downside. Up until 113, then the channel starts to narrow again. But from 257 down to 113, expect significant price action. And to the upside, channels are pretty decently sized, so expect a regular amount of price action if this continues to run to the upside. RSI is currently at 62, so above average there, but not quite overbought and overvalued. So according to the RSI, this current price of 244 should be a little bit lower. Still has more upside potential to go though. And this did 507 million in volume today. Very significant volume, way above the average. So this pump slash squeeze today was confirmed by the volume. Although the momentum probably will have to cool off pretty soon here. All right, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So I did predict that this would pull back to 150 before it went up again. It did not, so... I was wrong there. Clot on me. But yeah, this stock has been getting insane price action. Today was a huge day. There still is more upside potential, but I do think this should pull back 
in the next few days before it goes back up again. So I think if this does keep running to the upside, at most this should go back up to 360 or 380 because that's where the top of the cup is. But honestly, based on the bearish indicators here and the aftermarket action, this should pull back tomorrow and possibly even the next few trading sessions after that. So long term, this definitely is a good buy. A lot of bullish indicators. Again, cup and handle, double gap down. This should come back up to 1190 at some point in the future over a 300% upside from the current price. But in the short term, the momentum should start to cool off. People should start taking profits and there's probably going to be some shorts coming in here. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, I would not do that and I wouldn't recommend it at this price. I think you missed your chance. Little too late to go long here. I think if you were to go long here, that'd be FOMO. I think it's going to pull back to at least 180 to fill the gap here possibly even 150 and 62 cents. Although I think 62 is pretty unlikely, but I think 180 and 150 are very possible. So I would hold off going long for right now. I would say set your buy orders to 180 at the very minimum. It may even go lower than that, but I would support going long at 180 and lower. And if it pulls back below 180, then you can just average down at these supports that I mentioned before. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, seems like a pretty decent play. Still a good amount of risk involved though. Like I said, this should pull back down to 180 at least. And from the current price of 244, that is over a 25% downside. And if this pulls back down to 150, which is very possible, that's about a 40% downside. So a lot of downside potential here. A good amount of money to be made here on the downside. But again, there is still risk involved. There is still more upside potential. So going short does appear to be a pretty good play, but only if you can withstand some more upside pressure here. I don't think it should go up that much further in the short term, but there is still the risk of that. So I would say going short here would be a medium risk, high reward play. Definitely worth a shot in my opinion. So I would support going short at 244 and higher. And I would say cover once this hits 180 or 150. You don't want to hang on to the short position for that long. Get in, get your money and get out. All right, so pretty straightforward here, guys. Long term, definitely looks like a good buy. But in the short term, this has been going nuts. The past few trading sessions can't keep up forever. Has to give back eventually. And based on the aftermarket action, I do think this should pull back tomorrow and possibly even the next few trading sessions after that. So congratulations to everyone who made money on the stock today. Consider taking profits if you're up, not financial advice. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is MULN, Mullen Automotive. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday. Aftermarket close on the smarter gambling show you apes already know diamond hands to the moon i'm ty this is smarter gambling see you guys tomorrow peace out